Hello guys, welcome to a new Dury play. Today I'm playing Dogmatica Invoked again, I guess, but I changed my deck list a bit. I made like an 18 hand traps version of the deck. Um, yeah, and I also include like Ghost Mora and stuff like that. So yeah, this is like a bit of a different version. And uh, I will have the link in my uh, description if you want to see the deck and yeah. Okay, um, we begin right here and our hand is like really good. We have uh, Nadir Servant and also Meltdown plus three hand traps. This is like ide uh, ideal because uh, you have like, your two combo pieces and then also like <laughs> three interruption. Then um, yeah, uh, the Dinosaur player's hand is like also pretty good. The only thing that sucks is like the Buster Dragon. Um, but yeah, if you play Bricks, sometimes you draw them. That's like life, I guess. <laughs> but um, the rest right here is pretty good. Uh, Baby Sarah, also Oviraptor, and also the pill, which uh, is good if he plays another pill. If he doesn't play another pill, it's like bad because then he cannot resolve Arcosaur. But like Litter Gym with Baby is like always pretty good. And then he can just destroy the Buster Dragon or stuff like that. So his hand is like really good also to go second. Um, yeah. I'm starting by using Meltdown, he obviously has no hand traps, so my board will uh, will come out fast. Uh, yeah, just go for Invocation, do the usual plays with Secure Gardener, into Mechaba, then use Effect of Invocation, get back Alistair, then uh, use Nadir Servant, uh, send Titanicle at, at Ecclesia. Um, I, I'm playing right here without uh, the Winda, and I also wouldn't have go gone for Winda because, like, my hand is pretty good. I have like three interruptions in my hand, have the Mechaba, so I don't have like to risk um, him sending like two Entis or stuff like that. So, yeah, I just go for Ecclesia with Titanicle at Ecclesia, searches me punishment, and in the end phase, um, Flutterlease through Titanic Clutch. So, yeah, it's his turn. He actually draws Corporate Grave, which can help him because I'm playing like a, a lot of hand traps. So, yeah, um, he starts by normal summoning Orbivaptor, uses its effect. I actually decide not um, to negate it with Mechaba or um, with Flutterlease, which was like a mistake, I think, because if he still. Uh, if he already had like miscellaneous source in his hand, I could have just negated the misc um, with the Mechaba and uh, yeah, just go for Flirtilis, negate it, and then uh, if he changes miscellaneous source, I can just negate it with Mechaba. But um, yeah, I, I let um, I let it go through. He uses Little Zajim and kills like the baby and also the destruction sword and special sit. I, th uh, I also let that go through because uh, if he it, if he doesn't send to Earth, this is Sajim isn't that scary because he's only 2-5, so yeah. But he can trigger his baby, which is good for him. Um, he specials another baby. I understand this play going first, but I think going second this play is not optimal. He should have gone right here for, um, for like a level 4 dinosaur, the Giant Rex preferably because then you could have just overlaid those two into a Lagia or a Dolka, better a Dolka because then he's safe from hand traps, safe from Mechaba and stuff like that. And I had like to use my punishment right here and then be locked for, for the next turn because my my goal was right here to, to be able to stop him with Droll, um, Ghost Mourner and stuff like that. I also don't know why I didn't use Droll on the search of uh, of Overraptor. I, I was playing like really poorly this game. Uh, you will see that later because I use Ghost Mortar like in a really weird way, which is like just wrong. And yeah, now he uses Overraptor again and now I decide to use Flurlies. I should have done it before. It, it was like a mistake, but yeah, uh, I wasn't really concentrated, I think. So he lets it go through. He decides not to chain Misk because yeah, I have Mechabar on the field to just negate it. But I think, um, Misk doesn't get um, banished if he uh, if I if he activates Misk and discard him as cost and I am um, negated with Mechaba. I don't think that Mr. Uh, Lanesaurus will get uh, banished, so he can still use the Grave Effect. It's like because he changes its spot from where he activated to where he resolved, so he doesn't get banished or something like that. I don't really know the ruling, but I thought it was like that. So yeah, <clears throat> then uh, he uses the pill. Banishes those two dinosaurs and gets for 
the UCT and I right here decide to use on a summon the Ghost Mora and this also shows why Ghost Mora is like not really that good because um, he can just chain the UCT and yeah uh, if this would have been way a Waylo it would have been way better because then I could have just used the uh, Ghost Mora in response to the UCT but yeah right here this is just a wasted card and um, uh, I would try then to use Nibiru in response, but this was only the fourth summon, so yeah, I told you I was like really not concentrated in this game. But it was still a good one, so yeah, I, I decided to show it to you guys anyway, and also because I wanted to show you this, uh, it's like a bit new version of the deck. It's like better against combo, that's that's for sure if you play like in hand traps. But yeah, um, then I decided to just let it resolve because it's like not that bad because I have Nibiru. If he does any other summon, I can just blow him up. And if he tr tries to use Miscellaneousaurus, um, yeah, uh, I can still chain the Nibiru. The thing is, right here, um, he uses Baby's effect and he should have chained the miscellaneous Taurus on the Baby Ceratosaurus. So this was like a big mistake of him because uh, now on the summon of Baby, um, he uses uh, miscellaneous Taurus and I just chain Nibiru. This is like, like really bad. So his whole field gets blown up. This was like a crucial mistake. He had to wait for my Nibiru to activate first. So. Yeah, but I think he wanted to extend with miscellaneous stories and forgot that I can chain on it. So, yeah, this is like really bad because none of my monsters also go because Nibiru only um, tributes uh, open monsters. So, yeah, this was like a big misplay of his part. So, yeah, but we both did like mistakes. So I think it evens out a bit. But yeah, this costed him like his neck, I think. He just uh, decided to set uh, the cult by the grave because this token is like really big. I just flip all those cards around, go for Alistair and get Invocation. This token is like uh, 8300 attack and 6500 defense, so yeah, it's like a bit um, hard to out, but I just go for Cross Sheep, use Invocation, but he chains the cold on the Alistair, which does hurt like a lot because uh, I don't get a fusion and also don't get a monster with Cross Sheep back. <laughs> But it's like no problem because uh, I just uh, link away the cross sheep and also the fleur for um, for the Celine, which I play in this deck. And yeah, he has she has like four marks, so she can just revive fleur and then go for access code and then shoot the token. I have a five three access code and then just be able to OTK. He sees that, decides to go into the side deck. So yeah, I'm I'm signing right here for going second. I think I didn't change that much. I just put in some lightning storms and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, let's start with his hand because he is beginning. Uh, his hand is, doesn't look that great. He has, again, the little, little segment and also the baby, which is like a play starter, so it's alright. But, um, yeah, also Gamma going first is not that good, but with his hand, with Foolish Borrow, Gamma is like alright because if you ash like the Misk um, or something like that, uh, or the Foolish, uh, Gamma can be a really good extender. <laughs> so yeah, he just starts by sending uh, the misc. And for my hand, it's like not that great because uh, I have like Fleur Lease, which you don't really want to draw. And I also have like Phantasma and Lightning Storm. They do not synergize really well together. And also an, in an invocation without an Alistair. But yeah, Phantasma can help me to fix my hand. So this is why I like Phantasma in this deck. Because you also plan like uh, another 15 hand traps. So yeah. And so he starts by banishing Misk. I cannot do anything. Uh, especially summoning out uh, the Arcosaur, killing the baby in his hand. And getting the evolution pill. Especially summoning with the baby the Ovi. Using the effect of Ovi. Get another baby. Which is like the right choice, I think, because right here he couldn't use miscellaneous stories again. So yeah, just go for the baby and then use little Sagim. So um, oh, he can still normal some. So yeah, <laughs> he uses over Raptor, kills his own baby and special uh, the baby from the grave and special some giant Rex from the deck. And right here, I would have gone for the Lagia, uh, the Dolka, I think, to just play a bit around Nibiru. Or, or this actually was like the fifth summer, so it doesn't, it didn't matter. So yeah, uh, but he goes for the Link Rebo, and I chain Phantasmai, draw two, and I actually get another invocation. And 
a terraforming. Terraforming is like really crucial right here because then I can just shuffle back one invocation and then yeah, I have like a terraforming. And then um, he actually decides to link away the giant rex and the link reward, which is like good because he can you get the giant rex back with the double evolution pill and just go for Lambda. And he also has a gum in his hand, so Lambda is like the right play right here. And then he banishes two and goes for the UCT and then special summon giant rex. And I actually decide um, to chain on the summon of giant rex the flood least because if he brings out um, the Dolka, I uh, uh, he can just negate the Fleur de Lise, but the Fleur de Lise can easily run over the Dolka. So yeah, this was like the plan right here. And I also had like a Phantasmai. So yeah, um, if I bring, bring those guys out and he, uh, I already have them on the field and he books them in the next turn, then uh, I will, can, uh, on the end of the main phase, he has to use it in the main phase. Um, so yeah, I can just put it back into attack and then still attack. So yeah, but um he actually decides to not go for Dolka, he goes for Check 9 and then also for Dryden, which is like a really interesting choice because now he just pops the baby and Special summons another baby right here, which I don't really understand. Yeah, sure, he, he wants to use the effect of use T, but why not? Um, uh, um, he, he pops the baby now and then brings out another baby, but why not just go for the... Um, for the Petit and Runner done right away and then special out the Pancrotops to have like one more shoot. This would have been like good, I think. But yeah, he decides not to. He, he thinks he can still shoot it in my turn. Um, but then I don't see the point right here, but because if you shoot your own card with Dryden, you cannot shoot mine. So it's like a wasted shoot. So if you just went for the uh, Pancrotops right here, he would have had the set from UST, the um, the negate through gamma, the draw lockbird, and then also um, two shoots, which is like a f five, five, six, inter no, five interruptions, which would have been like better than four, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, he booked my cards, so yeah, it's my turn. I decide then to use the lightning storm. This was like really lucky right here because I thought about if I should have spe special summoned those, and I hope that he would have uh, would use the use T to trigger his babies, so I can use my lightning storm. This was like really lucky uh, for me. So yeah, and also the fact that he doesn't play around lightning storm and puts his use T in attack mode. It's like really not necessary to put the use T in attack mode. I think. Uh, the one thing you should learn from this video is do not put UCT in attack mode. It has like 2300 defense. Nobody can get easily over that. And if you can, you can also get over the 3500. So there's no point in playing UCT in attack mode when you go first. It just plays into Lightning Storm, which like hurts. And um, yeah, then I um, actually put up my Phantasma because he has like the targeting uh, negation. So. I search for Meltdown and then I eat like the roll, which is like really crucial right here. It just ends my turn straight up because this one search, this one does search, and this one search. <laughs> I can still like special summon this, but it's or normal summon it, but it's not worth it if I can't search. So and I, I can't fuse with Invo because there's like no Alistair right here. So yeah, I just decide to flip those two up and then go for the battle phase. He actually decides to use Trident again, but not to shoot my mods but to shoot his uh, Petite, and then special with Petite and uh, Novi Raptor, and Novi Raptor sends him like the Misk, which is like a misplay, I think. You should add Misk to the hand right here, because uh, why not, I guess? Uh, you can pr protect your cards the next turn, and yeah, there's like no reason for me to just spray it, uh, send it to the graveyard. I think it would have been way better to just um, get it to the hand, yeah. Then yeah, I just clean his monsters anyway because I get a replay attack. And then um, I actually think right here if I should use the invocation. And yeah, I decide to do it because there's no point in keeping two monsters if he can um, get like a UCT in the next turn with uh, this miscellaneous source. So uh, I decide to just go into the Elster link and then use invocation to banish his miscellaneous source. I don't know if this was like the right play. I think um, a Mechaba could have been also a good play, but um, I think it was like better to just go for, um, I, I had to negate the miscellaneous source anyway next turn. So I thought just go for, um, just go for the, uh, for the Puga Trio, and then he can also not use the effect of miscellaneous source because the banishing is cost. And if he banished giant Rex as cost, he will still get the giant Rex on, on its board. So 
I think it was like the better pay, play to just go for Pogatrio. And also, I do not lose a card in my hand for that, because I, when I use Mechaba, I have to uh, banish a uh, drop a card from my hand to the graveyard. So I think it was like better to go for Pogatrio right here. And he actually top decks like Oviraptor. This is like such a clutch top deck. He normal summons the Oviraptor, and yeah, now he goes for Misk. I think Misk is like the right choice right here. And then discards the Misk and banish the Misk. Uh, yeah, but only the Misk. I think, uh, yeah, he could have also gone for like uh, banishing four and then special summoning, uh, I don't know, maybe another Miscellaneousaurus. And he would have also gotten then the Giant Rex. But yeah, the question is like, is it worth it? Do you want like a dinosaur monster and then also a Dolka or do you want like a UCT? And this, uh, in this, position it was like I think right to go for the UCT because he had like to out the Pugatrio which um, would have gotten e even bigger I mean he's 2-5 with one monster and then if he has like two monsters he's 2-7 so yeah I think it was like necessary to go for the use uh, for the for the Arcosaur right here I think it could have been also better if he just searched with the Oviraptor for the other UCT. That would have been like way better because then um, he had no protection, that's right. But um, yeah, he could have just banished the Giant Rex, still had like the Oviraptor. So yeah, you had like then a UCT and also a Dolka and this would have been like way harder to out. But um, because he searched like miscellaneous stars, uh, yeah, I think this was actually wrong then to search the miscellaneous stars. You should have gone for for more risk right here. Because um this wouldn't ha have been even five summons, this would have been like four summons, four summons. And uh, if he has like a dog, he, he doesn't even care about Nip, so yeah. And I actually, you, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he wouldn't even care about Nip, so yeah. But uh, yeah, he just goes for the UCT and also the Giant Rex, but yeah, there's no local then right there. So, and he cannot even attack over my uh, Poker Trio with uh, Giant Rex because Giant Rex is like only uh, 2600 and my Poker Trio is like 2900. So he attacks over with um, Conductor Tyranno and yeah, Giant Rex can't attack directly. So it's my turn. I draw for Nibiru. Which doesn't help right here, but my head is like fully stacked, and his only interaction is like UCT, so yeah. But UCT against Meltdown isn't really that great, that's why he like needed the, the Dolka for sure, or Lilagia. But yeah, I just go for uh, Alistair, my plan is like really clear right here. He cannot negate my Alistair if he doesn't have, like a, uh, doesn't have like a hand trap, I just go for Invocation, activate Invocation, and then just go for Orgoetis, because if he used... Um, Tyranno before it would have been better because I can just fuse my face down Alistair. So yeah, I just go for Orgoides, use its effect. And because Meltdown's on the field, he cannot actually actually not chain. I tell him that, and then yeah, just uh, his Tyranno just dies. I get back Elsa to my hand, and yeah, my hand's like still fully stacked. Go for Nadir, and yeah, then he scoops because yeah, this this was like over. He had like nothing left. Uh, he had rebanished miscellaneous stories so there was also not a lot of follow-up in his deck yeah so i i don't know i don't think he would have um won anything there because i had like servant and also ecclesia so this was like game over for him so yeah as what it was a bit like of a rough match i think this was like really late in the evening but we all we both did like a bit mistakes but we both have like a pretty good rating right here but yeah mistakes are like human you can, everybody does mistakes, but I think it was still like an entertaining match. So yeah, um, if you guys like my contents, you can maybe consider subscribing. And uh, if you want me also to make more videos, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more stuff.